Hi, today I am telling you how to do the month over month and year over year comparison in your GA4 property. So we are at the home page right now of the GA4 and from here we will go to the reports. So let's say you want to do the comparison on a certain report. There are already a lot of reports built in in your analytics property. And if you are wondering what is this organic reports, it's, it's just a collection of uh, custom reports that I made but for today we will like I will show you how to do this comparison on the pages and screens report that is already like default made in your GA4 property and I will click on this thing so that we can see the report in full so from here we will go to this date range selector thing and I will click on compare once click on compare it will like default by default it will show you the month over month comparison and it will match the date of the week and if you don't want to like match date of the week you can also do preceding period both of these will give you the month over month comparison and let's say we want to do the preceding period and then we will just hit apply after hitting apply and just if we scroll down a little, little bit we will see that you can see the change and like this changes a bit that it will show you data both for both the, this month and the last month so here here you go this is your month over month comparison and for the year over year it is the, it is the same you will just again click this thing and instead of preceding period you can select either same period last year or like same period last year without matching the day of the week so suppose we do this and we will click on apply and now it will give you the data for year over year and you can see and compare okay so the views has gone up a lot and something has been gone down like the views per user you can report on these things accordingly and i will also show you something called the custom compare comparison so in the custom comparison you can literally compare anything like you want to compare specific dates or date ranges so let's suppose you want to compare uh, like a specific week two different weeks so like let's say like this week to another week and let's say you want to do that and then you can just hit apply and it will show you the comparison between these two weeks it will show you a like a chart that you can like it is very handy and also the comparison and also like you can use this custom to uh, like the, this custom tool to do comparison between quarters and like really anything like you can just take it and go wild with it you know just you can just do anything with it and yeah this is one thing another thing that you can do here is like you can do comparisons in in a different way so we have made this 20 day 28 days again so suppose we want to do like comparison between two different kinds of people who are coming from two different sources so right now it is like all users so we will click on this and we can do something like session source so we are comparing between two different sources the so first source i'll take is google so let's say how many people are coming from google and i will hit apply and the next comparison will be how many people are not coming from google so it will be like session source does not exactly match google so people who are not coming from google and i will hit apply on this so it should give you a comparison between these two things you can see two different charts here and the data is also like communicating the same thing so let's say you want to you don't want this uh, like page title because it's confusing for you i guess so you can do page path and screen class so suppose you're looking for a specific folder on your website then you can do uh, a you then you can add a filter on top of this to make it like uh, page path and screen class contains and then you can add 
the folder name so for me like i have a folder called seo hub and then i will do this and hit apply so now it will only show you the pages from that particular folder so it can be a useful thing for you so this is one of the examples of custom reports that you can make and you can customize this even further to get the data that you really want and you can learn how to make this custom report and many more in the ga4 report customization course so if you are looking to enhance your reporting then you can definitely enroll in the course and for now i have like customized this standard report but it's it's not like you don't need this custom report like uh, the standard report anymore you will need the standard report so it's better that you will make a separate custom report and not customize the standard report itself so that's where the like the custom reports come in and it it's really handy for you so yeah now you have the comparison between this thing and if you want to do month over month comparison on top of that then again you can just do compare and just do like a uh, preceding period and just hit apply so now it will give you the comparison between both places and like what's the changes so it's very much useful so yeah that's that's it for today and i hope you learned something from this and if you did then let me know in the comments thank you